cats and dogs. It's one of the most well-known rivalries in history. They can more often than not be seen going for one another simply because they feel like it. But when this girl was taken by thieves, an unlikely pair came together to help save her. This story happened quite a few years ago in a small and remote village which was situated in the middle of a dense forest. 16-year-old Alice had grown up in this village with her mother and her grandmother, who both took care of her and loved her with all their hearts. The young girl and her mother lived with her grandmother and her cat, which was called Badger. The ginger moggy had been with the family since he was a small kitten. Alice's grandmother had found Badger huddled up underneath a small shop awning, trying to avoid the rain, when she was just a small kitten. She had taken pity on the feline and decided to take him home with her. Since then, the ginger cat had protected the home better than any guard dog could have and weighed roughly 18 pounds. He was no longer the tiny little kitten that he had been when he was first brought back to the house. With his large size, Badger looked very intimidating. He would chase away anything that didn't belong around the house and would constantly be catching mice to keep the home clean. One of Badger's favorite pastimes was going to the forest for long periods of time. No one knew what he was doing in there, but Alice's grandmother often suspected that he was hunting as he usually came back home well-fed and happy. Every summer, Alice's mother would go away for work for a week and left Alice with just her grandmother and the cat. Alice loved this time, as she was able to play with Badger to her heart's content, and it just so happened that the cat seemed to love his time bonding with the young woman as well. One summer, Alice was helping her grandmother in the kitchen, when Badger walked in with a small, grey puppy walking next to him. Alice turned to her grandmother and asked her when she had gotten a dog, but her grandmother replied that she hadn't, and that her favorite feline was the one who had brought it home with him from the forest. The grandmother had seen the puppy hanging around the edge of the woods and said that it must have worked up the courage to finally come into the house. It turned out that one day, Badger had gone off into the forest like he usually did, only this time when he came back, he was carrying a small grey bundle in his mouth. At first, the grandmother thought nothing of it, as the ginger moggy often brought his hunts back home with him. But when the cat released the bundle of fur, the grandmother was surprised to see that it was alive and that it turned out to be a puppy. At first, upon seeing the woman, the puppy ran to the edge of the forest. Now that the canine was finally up close though, the grandmother was able to take a closer look at it and instantly recognized that it was actually a wolf pup. Lots of questions went through the grandmother's head. Where had this cub come from? Where was its mother? And why had Badger brought it back to the house? Unfortunately, the cat couldn't give her any answers and just sat happily next to his new friend. Alice was ecstatic over the fact that she now had a new pet to play with. At first, her grandmother was hesitant to let the young girl near the wolf, but she soon came to realize that even though it was a wild beast, the cub behaved extremely friendly. Badger treated the canine with a lot of tenderness, which was unusual for the cat as he usually tried to scare off any other animals. But now the feline was gently licking the cub's fur, letting him lick milk from his bowl and even bringing his hunts back for the cub to eat. The two animals even slept together, curled up on the same bed. It was like Badger had decided to become the new mother for the little wolf. Meanwhile, Alice's mother had found a new house to live in and had decided to take her to live there at the end of the summer. She told Alice that she would be able to spend the rest of the summer with her grandmother as Alice's mother got the house ready to live in. Whilst Alice was sad to be leaving her grandmother, she was also incredibly happy that she would get to spend more time with the wolf cub. As the summer went on, the cub grew noticeably bigger and stronger. Alice became very attached to him and found it difficult to leave. On the day that she was to go to her new home, Alice's grandmother told her that the young girl could return a month later and that they would spend a weekend in the forest picking mushrooms together. As Alice got onto the bus to take her to her new home, the wolf and cat began to chase after it, and Alice's grandmother started to cry. It wasn't long before a month came and went, and it was time for Alice to return to the village for her weekend with her grandmother. But as she prepared to go, she learned that the bus she usually took wouldn't be able to take her all the way to her grandmother's village this time. Seeing that she had no other option, Alice decided to walk the remaining distance to the village. She gathered up her backpack, which contained all of her clothes for the weekend, and started to walk along the road. Luckily, the weather was good and the sun was shining, so the two-hour walk would be quite an enjoyable experience. As she walked, Alice admired the beauty of the forest around her. She had never really taken the time to look at it closely, and she loved what she saw. At one point, she saw an unusual-looking bush just off the side of the road. Curious, she went over to take a look at it. 
Just at that moment, a car sped by on the one side of the road that Alice had been walking on. Had she been there still, it surely would have hit her. Thanking fate that she hadn't been on the road, Alice then noticed that the car had stopped and was reversing back towards her. At first, the young girl thought that it was possibly someone from the village who was going to offer her a lift there. But as the car approached, she noticed that there were two men inside, and she did not recognize them from the village at all. Knowing that her situation wasn't good, she was all alone in the middle of the dense forest. Alice decided that she would try and negotiate with the two men. They both seemed tipsy, so it might work. Sadly, though, it didn't and Alice was pulled into the back seat of the car by one of the men. Alice was so terrified that she froze. She couldn't move. The men drove a few miles until they found a quiet spot to pull over. Once the car had stopped, Alice was pulled out of the vehicle. She started screaming, but she knew that it was in vain as no one could hear her. As one of the men approached her, the young woman slapped him across the face, making sure to use her nails to hurt him. The man got so angry that he pushed her away. Using this as an opportunity to escape, Alice quickly regained her footing and began to run away. It was at this point that she heard one of her attackers cry out in pain from behind her. Startled, Alice turned around to see what had happened, only to find that the wolf cub she had grown so attached to was now a fully grown wolf and it was biting down on one of the men's arms. That was when Badger appeared from the forest and jumped onto the second man's back. The unexpected weight caused the man to fall over. The angered feline then began to scratch and bite at his face and neck. Alice was overjoyed. Her friends had somehow heard her cry for help and came to rescue her. Once the men had managed to get the animals off of them, they ran back to the car as fast as they could. But the vehicle wouldn't start. With the two attackers trapped in the car, unless they wanted to face an angry wolf again, Alice made sure to call the police and let them know what had happened. Once the two men had been taken care of, the young woman made her way to her grandmother's house, and they spent the entire weekend picking mushrooms together along with Badger and the wolf. How amazing is this story? Let me know what you thought in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories.